Hi guys, Daz is back with another comic book haul. This one's a little bit forced. This episode 79, but I've got books everywhere. So I've got no choice but to make one as I'm going to a big con at the weekend in Birmingham and I'm excited to pick up a ton more. As always, various sources, charity shops, LCSs, antique stores, emporiums, car boots, you name it, I've been there. I'm a hunter, that's what I do. So many books, guys. Stay with me and you'll be rewarded because there's some pretty cool Silver Age at the end of this haul. So, starting with this one I found at a car boot. I think it was from a car boot Tony, actually. I think I paid 50p for this. This is uh, Sinister Tales, issue 152. This is a pretty cool one because it reprints the first appearance of Nightshade. Nightshade, uh, who I believe was in the... Uh, Watchmen movie. So pretty cool. I think his first appearance is in a, a Captain Atom issue. I think it's 82. It could be 83. One of those two. Uh, Pick this one up. Cut the quid at the car boot. This was a, a second copy of this. There was an animated feature film. Gotham by Gaslight. So hoping to make a few quid off that. I can go up to about 10 quid for this one. That's where Batman hunts down Jack the Ripper. This is at a charity shop in Cheltenham. This is the What The uh, Xmas Special, issue number 10. Again, it goes for about five to six for Christmas coming up. Why not? This is a book I see on a lot of people's halls. Uh, first time I've ever found one. The Marvelous Land of Oz, issue number one. It's got a young cover, I believe. Um, again. That can go up to 10 quid on a good day. So £1.50, why not? This is where um, the maker bonds with the symbiote, I think. Could be wrong, but this is uh, Venom issue 18. I haven't read it yet. I will probably flip this one as well. Pay cover for that. Paid cover for this one too. This is a low printed book, Mythos Company. Uh, this is Vamp issue number one. This was quite hot at one point, up to about 15 to 20. I think it's calmed down, but uh, hoping to make a couple of quid on it. I was going to keep this one, but I think I'll flip it. This is uh, Once and Future issue one. This is the fourth printing. So many printings of this now. I have the first printing. Paid cover for that. So there's another copy of Shelter, which has just been optioned from Image Comics, number one. This has been optioned too, obviously, just recently. This is the Marked from Image. That was from Brian Haberlein, and he also uh, optioned Sonata at the same time. This is the... First appearance of the second Aqualad in Brightest Day, issue number four. Uh, I think it's Jackson Hyde. Never know, he could appear in an Aquaman film down the line. Paid 150 for that. Paid two quid for this, I think. This is the Uncanny X-Men, issue 451. Another copy of that. I think that is the first time that uh, X-23, Laura Kinney, comes into the X-Title. A 50p for this, Silver Surfer Black, issue number one. Paid a quid for this, I think. Then the car boot, Uncanny X-Men 248, first Jim Lee artwork on the X-Men. 50p for a couple of image titles. We got Flavor, issue one. And Murder Falcon, issue one. This is a nice point for cover price. I've stuck this up for sale. This is uh, Venom, issue 9, the second printing, the Abyss, second printing, and that is the first appearance of Dylan Brock. Who, uh, first full appearance of Dylan Brock, who, of course, is Eddie Brock's son. Forgot all about I ordered this. This is a continuation of the Antarctic Press title, which I've really enjoyed early days. I haven't read the last couple of issues. This is Rags issue five. I think there's seven in total, so I might as well see it out. 
There was rumours that Rex is going to be picked up, I was reading on the forums. Whether that's the case, I don't know. But of course, the uh, free agent shot himself in the foot by uh, having a hissy fit because people were selling them for a profit. This is a total I think could be a winner. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard nothing but good things. This is something is killing the children, issue one. This is about a small American town in crisis who is visited by a strange woman who claims she can... Uh, see and slay invisible monsters that are savagely killing their children that's the regular cover from worth or del adira and i like this cover probably a bit more this is the uh, variant cover from jay lee and june chung this book on was being talked up on the forums this is about to be optioned by all accounts this is from image comics more donny kate's goodness this is redneck issue number one premier issue of the horror series created by Donny Cates and Lissandro Esseren about vampires whose era of peaceful coexistence alongside humans comes to an end. What did I pay for that? Uh, 7.75. Pay cover price for the something that's killing the children. Um, onto a load of uh, minor keys that were in my encyclopedia. Encyclopedias. Uh, this is X-Force issue 88. Paid 99p in a charity shop. Arma, first appearance of Armageddon Man. This is the Totally Awesome Hulk issue 15. 99p for this. This is the first unofficial appearance of the Protectors who are Silk, Miss Marvel, Shang-Chi, Agent Jake, Jimmy Woo and the Hulk. That's the regular cover. Slowly creeping up that one. Uh, finally found a copy of this. This is All-Star Squadron issue 33. This is the first appearance of a uh, tsunami. Who is Maya Shimada. This is the New Teen Titans annual number six from 1990. And this is the first appearance of the Society of Sin. Um, I'm a big Doom Patrol fan, so this is where the uh, Masters of Evil become the Society of Sin, and that is uh, Sin. Gargwax, General Immortus, Hoogan, Madame Rogue, Monsar Mala, Phobia, Plasma, The Brain, Trinity, and Warp. It is the first appearance of Trinity in that book. Teen Titans, issue number one. This is from 1996. This is the first appearance of a few characters. Hotspot, Prism, Risk, and Argent. Showcase issue number, uh, sorry, Showcase 94, issue number 9. This is the first appearance of Extant. Extant, who is a uh, Hank Hall. As a zero hour prelude. Moving on, we've got Extreme Justice, issue 0. This is the first appearance of the Extreme Justice team, who is Captain Atom, Amazing Man, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, and Maxima. It's also the first appearance of General Singh and the Second Monarch. Didn't pay any more than two to three pounds for any of these. This is a uh, Johnny Thunder, aka Thunderbolt, issue number one from 1985. Obviously, the first appearance of Johnny Thunder and Thunderbolt. Then we've got move on to a uh, Superman 122 from uh, 1997, the first appearance of Scorn, who is a uh, Ceratac. Pound out of my uh, local antique store, Legions of Superheroes, issue 32. And this is the first appearance of Atmos, who is Mark Russon. I reckon I'm about two thirds through that encyclopedia now. There's so many characters, but I'm getting there. This is the New Teen Titans, annual number one from 1985. And this is the first appearance of the Vanguard team and its members Anti Matter Man, Black Nebula, Drone, Scanner. Solar and White Dwarf. Moving on, we've got JSA issue 23 from 2001. The first appearance of the Sin Eater, who is Onimar Sin. Moving on, Superboy issue 88 from 2001. This is the first appearance of the DN Angels team and its members Cherub, Epiphany and Seraph. Love this next cover. 
my big flash fan this is speed force issue number one from 1997 look at the colors pop on that one this is the first appearance of cobalt blue it was malcolm thorne every chance we'll see him in the flash show at some point moving on pick this one up at the car boot this one eluded me for a while this is justice league issue 47 from 1993 first appearance of maya maya who is chandi gupta moving on again we've got issue one of superboy and the ravers from 1996 and this is the first appearance of a group that would later become the ravers team aura hero cruise and the second caliber it's also the first appearance of intercept and its members better toss jack nebula Ephraim and Shar, and the first appearance of Redshift, uh, Dirt, Claw, Red Death, and Wound, and the first appearance of Bouncer, Claw Hammer, Corpse Cops, Pyra, Fashion Police, Catwalk, Trend Remarks, Landor, and Fat Boy. Whole host of first in that one. Up next, we've got Aquaman issue five from 2003. This is the first appearance of the Thirst. The Thirst villainous team, I believe. Or group. Uh, up next, Adventures of Superman, issue 428. This is the first appearance of Bibbo, who is Bibbo Bawoski, and the first appearance of Jose Delgado. And uh, Jose God Delgado will appear for the first time as the hero Gangbuster in Adventures of Superman, issue 434, from 1987. Talking of Adventures of Superman, we've got issue 582. And this is the first appearance of a villain called Ignition. So that's all the minor ones from my encyclopedia. But just a few to show you uh, some keys that you probably didn't know too much about. So, uh, like I said, I'm at a con this weekend. There's a guest list. It's not very impressive. But if they've got artists there, I'll try and pick up a book or two for them to sign. There is a, an artist there, a female artist called Sharon Glow. And she is the co-creator of this book. Welcome to Showside. So look at these covers. Oh my days. But uh, yeah, she's the co-creator, so she will hopefully get to sign this. This is the Forbidden Planet uh, Jetpack exclusive. And that is the local comic shop day exclusive variant from 2015. Paid 160 each for them. As you know, I'm a huge Jessica Jones fan, guys. Uh, there is an artist there going to be there by the name of Tony Fleeks and uh, he did this variant cover to uh, Jessica Jones issue number nine so that'd be pretty cool to get him signed as I'm a big Jessica Jones fan my daughter can do art like that pay 245 for that uh, a book I made a hot comic book alert about. I hope you didn't sleep on it. There's, it's been pretty mass produced, but I've got a feeling this is going to make a great TV show. Uh, from Image, we've got Undiscovered Country, issue number one. Um, this is basically in search for a cure to an apocalyptic pandemic. A group of scientists travel to a region of the United States that has been walled off from the rest of the world for decades. Uh, September 2009, it was acquired by New Republic Pictures. That's the regular cover from uh, Giuseppe Camun Colli. This is a good find from the charity shop, £1.50 again. This is Master of Kung Fu issue number one. This is the Battle Worlds uh, tie in. Secret Wars Battle World tie in. And um, this is the first appearance of the Mandarin as Cheng Zhu. Emperor of the Ten Rings Citadel and the father of Shang-Chi in an alternate reality. Now, this is a four-issue series that occurs on the alternate reality planet of Battleworld, but apparently the Shang-Chi movie is going to use a lot of the um, story from this book about the Ten Rings Citadel. So uh, if you can find that for cheap, that could be a good one. One fifty a pay for that couple of uh, flash hot comic book alerts this is <coughs> sorry excuse me this is um titans issue 28 the brightest day uh, tie-in this is the first appearance of allegra garcia 
who has just made her first appearance in the Flash TV show. Uh, I think um, she has been taken on an, as an internship by Iris West to now work for her. She's got powers. Um, I think she emits stuff like radio waves and things. But her first appearance is in this book. In any CW key uh, I can pick up for cheap, I will. I paid £3.24 for that. Talking to CW, like I said. Uh, pick this one up, because this character is just in Supergirl. Uh, enjoying that again. Young Justice, issue number two from 1998. And this, guys, is the first appearance of Rip Roar. Rip Roar, who was in the Supergirl TV show. Paid two seventy five for that. Sticking with CW and Batwoman. I haven't seen that yet, but it's come out to pretty good reviews. I wasn't blown away by the trailer, but I'll give it a try. Uh, Man of Steel, issue number three. This is from the 1980s, and uh, this is the first appearance of Magpie, who appears in the Batwoman TV show, who is Margaret Pye. Uh, she also appeared in Gotham, in the final season of Gotham. But this is also the first meeting of post-crisis Batman and Superman. It was a pretty cool read, this one. Um, this one got options some time ago, and it's the first time I found it cheap enough, but I can see why. I was not impressed with the seller. He sent it, the corners were bent, it creased, but I've got it, you know, what did I pay? I paid £5.50 for issues one and two of Transhuman. Transhuman, this was optioned in April of last year. Um, this is a, a premiere issue of the four-part miniseries currently being developed by Amazon. I haven't read it yet. That's issue one, and there's issue two. So that worked out at £2.75 each for them. Okay, four pretty decent books to finish with. This one's pretty low grade. It's got a bit of spine roll, which I'm not too happy about, but I can't moan about the price, so I paid £6.15 for this. Uh, first one, most Bronze Age book. Uh, this is Superman, issue 246. And this is the first appearance of Star Labs, yeah. And Star Labs, obviously, is most known for being in the Flash TV series. That's where Cisco and Caitlin and, you know, the Flash team are based. But it's also been in the Man of Steel movie, and the Lewis and Clark New Adventures of Superman, Smallville, Arrow, and the Doom Patrol TV show. So, that's a pretty cool book to have. As you know, talking about the Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol, I am a huge fan of the Doom Patrol, and uh, I picked up recently issue 99 of Doom Patrol from the first series, the uh, first appearance of Beast Boy, and I've gone on with that and picked up another big key from that run, issue 100, guys, issue 100, and this is the origin of Beast Boy, so I've got his first appearance, now I've got his origin, I paid £16.80 for that, and I would say it's mid-grade, probably around about a four to a five. But it presents quite nicely. Sorry about the glare, you know what Mylar is like. Never apologise for that glare. <laughs> so happy with that one. Uh, like I say, I've, this, in this book, uh, in this grade, is easily a £30 book, I think, so I've done okay there. Up next, uh, finally found a really nice presenting copy of this one. It's been on my radar for some time. The cover in particular is striking. There's a tiny little tear on the back cover, but it's, it's not much to it at all, really. I paid £27.56 for this, and it goes nicely with my Amazing Spider-Man issues uh, 50. Yeah, I've got the first Kingpin, and I've got issue 83, the first... Uh, Full appearance of his wife, Vanessa Fisk, and the schemers in that one too. But now I have the first cameo appearance in Amazing Spider-Man issue 70. And that is a lovely presenting book, guys. I was a big fan of the character in the Daredevil TV show. You see that spine's pretty neat. Corners are sharp. You know, I'm a harsh grader. I've gone 5.5, .5, but I think this could be 6, 6.5. So uh, happy to add that one. And my final book I'm over the moon with, guys. I think I've got a real good price for this. It is, it presents very nicely. There's a bit of a, 
bit of a rough spine but uh it's on its staples as Dazzy says and uh, it's complete and it's a nice 10 cent book i think the reason i got it cheap it had a load of like pen pencil on the front cover but i managed to remove it and what did i pay i ended up winning it on bid uh, on a last minute bid for 30 pounds that is my sweet mark i like if i find a nice key for 30 i usually grab it and the book in question is superboy issue number 89 yeah guys delighted to add that one this is the first appearance of monel largand who later becomes valor and uh he appeared in both the supergirl and flash tv shows played by chris woods like i said i'm a big cw fan let's have a look a closer look at it like you say it's hard to make out with all the glare but it is definitely complete. It's on both staples. I've braided this. There's no creasing as such in the 3.5 range. Now, I don't know whether you can make it out, guys, because it's very faint. But there was a lot, a lot of pen and pencil down here. And it was black. But as you can see, I've got it off as best as I can without taking off the color. So that's it, guys. That's my final book. Delighted to have that. In fact, delighted with all three of these. Silver and bronze is definitely where it is at for me. That is a wrap. Here's my uh, sponsors this week. We've got, uh, I think that's a Val Kilmer Bruce Wayne. And that is a, a Kenner Batman. I don't, don't know why he's a uh, c There it is. I like to show off some of my retro figures sometimes. I currently sit at 741 subscribers. I'm down one from my record of 742. I told you guys, when I get to 800, I'm going to give a good giveaway. I've got tons of books. Thanks for the support. If you like what you see, subscribe and ding that bell. Like my videos, please. That's Daz over now. Bye.